I done it to you and Val one day, what you were in and I just patched. So we um, started with lying hamstring curls, man. Always put them before, always put them at the start of a session. Because if you put them at the start of the session, your ability to get the hamstrings short is so much better. So hamstrings are warmed up. Three and a half plates on the, uh, so three and a half plates on the pendulum just get done there. Uh, get six, get six reps there. We get four, we get three last week. So that was three reps up, which is nice. Um, four sets of hamstring curls when we started as well. Just gets the hamstrings nice and warm, gets the hamstrings nice and primed. So when you go into a big squat movement, the legs are all warm, the knee joints are warm. The pendulum is one of those movements that just can fuck the knee joints if you're not warmed up before it. So knee joints warmed, four sets of hammies done, they were good sets, taking all the way to failure. Two more sets to go, gonna go back off the three plates, so gonna go for that now. The good thing with a pendulum is you can get the feet all the way down, like the, the pendulums are very big bias to the quads. Um, the hack squats are big bias to the quads, but the pendulum's even a bit more quaddy. So the thing is with that though, because it's a bit more quad dominant, you'll find that it can put a bit more pressure on the knees. So just make sure you warm the fuck up before your big heavy set, all right? Put a hamstring curl first, get everything nice and loose, get everything warmed, jump on the seated bike for five minutes and just get everything nice and nice and primed, all right? I take a spot, man, if anyone's to use a spot. I mean, I failed this last week and I was lying on the bottom of it. <laughs> I get, two reps with, I get two reps with three and a half, but then I get six this week. Come on, primo, let's go. Oh, easy, easy, easy. Oh. Oh. Oh, we'll go ten. Oh. Four, come on. Come on, Lewis. Easy. Easy. Hey, right, another three, another three. Thank you, Jeff. Come on. Two more, Two more. Come on. Oh. Right, spot on this one. That's it. Okay. That's it. You can just take my car keys and go get it, wherever you want. I just videoed my top set of leg press, and guess what? I didn't video, man. Brutal. Needed me to do that set, so... Pendulum done. Done pendulum. We're basically just taxing the quads. You want your big, a big heavy hitter, right? The whole point of a pendulum is a movement is just going to lengthen the quads. So the whole point of a squat movement is to get really fucking deep and load the quads out at that point. There's no other movement you can do that, right? It's only a squat pattern that you can do that's going to be able to fully lengthen the quad. So if you're doing a squat, any pattern, don't just half rep it, take it all the way down, all right? So leg press done, get six plates, top set for 15. I'm just going to go again, because I'm fucked up that way and can manage the same load and not have to jump off. So six plates, second set, let's go. Oh, oh come on. 
Ah, song choice. What you saying about a bit of Lana Del Rey, Lauren? You like that? A bit of Lana Del Rey? I'm one of the people who need some mad fucking Metallica shit. I need pure chilled. Yeah. Like, see when I'm getting really? really? spots yeah. these days? I need to say to my spotter, please, mate, like, don't shout. Like, don't go on. Like, please be quiet. Because I need, I need, like, fucking, like, Chill. to not be like, I need to feel like I'm in a, in a good mindset. Hey, come on. Oh. ham sandwich there man leg press done man some sessions I'll just um, kind of like auto regulate so like I've done legs on what did I do legs on done legs on Wednesday and I started a new gym so I used some new machines done extra volume there so because I've done extra volume on the Wednesday I'm going to take that away from this session so if I've got like you know 15 sets of quads a week as long as they get hit per week it's not a big big deal if some of it changes because a lot of time I've been trying to train like a, with a lot of clients the past um, couple of weeks so that can I throw the sessions off but listen see as long as you're going in picking similar movements progressing them if some of the accessory work is a little bit mixed up it's not a not a big deal man but um, leg press boxed off with the leg press as well that was supposed to be a um, glute focus one but I just I cannot get into it glute focus would just basically mean that you put the, the back pad up to a degree because that means you're more hyper extended hyper extending means the knees are now closer to the chest a little bit more lengthening of the glutes, of the bum um, so I was trying to get as much quad as I could there so having the feet fairly low down and fairly wide allows me to just open everything up a good amount so that leg press felt good um, pendulum progressed this week, leg press progressed this week I only get 12 with 6 plates 6 25s, not 20s I only get 12 with 6 plates and I get 15 today on set 1 and then 14 on set 2 so that was sweet Moving on to leg extension now, I am fucked, my quads are done in, so I'm just going to do 3 or 4 straight sets. You'll probably find as well, your ability to actually contract the quads at the end of a workout is really fucking hard. So with a lot of clients, I'll put leg extension early on, because mo a lot of people can't do it at the end of a workout. Uh, fatigue builds up too much, but I'm alright with it. Some, one session I've got it first, and then one session I've got it after, so leg extension is now, the hard stuff's done. Ham curl, pendulum leg press, now leg extension and calf, so five movements but over five weeks the volume will kind of tie it up a little bit um, so I would sometimes rather do less movements and more sets on all those movements than like eight movements in a session it's too much sometimes so leg extension, let's go right man, just warming everything up but one thing you want to make sure of when you do the leg extension is see the wee the axis on the machine just make sure your knees lined up with that so if, if it ever feels a wee bit brutal on your joints the wee pivot point, yours might be yellow, red, whatever just make sure the knees align with that not the actual kneecap, right? If that's the kneecap, measure around an inch in, and that's where the joint is. So that's where you want to be lined up on the on the leg extension. So bring legs in. My knees lined up perfectly. But what's not good is sometimes that pad that's here pushes me too far back. It's like a pressing movement. If you do a press right and you come down, you can be too far back on some movements. So you would rather just kind of save your knee joints a little bit. So what I'll sometimes do is I'll bring this bit out a wee bit. There's an easy test you can do. Get the weight on the lightest amount, right? Extend both legs up, control one leg back, naturally see where it falls, it falls there. I need to physically push that back further to get it further. So if the pad is pushing my leg back to that point and I don't want that there, I want it to sit out a little bit so it doesn't cause too much shear in the knee joint. And you've got that shin pad as well. Just have that shin pad as close to the knee joint as you can so it creates a wee bit less torque around the knee, meaning not old man knees essentially and then just use those handles pull yourself right into that pad hips right into it extend through keep the joints lined up knees lined up don't point the knees out the way or in the way keep them nice and straight point the toes up to the ceiling contract hard pause at the top for two 
and then just control on the way down. If you start going like this, man, no cunt cares how much you get a leg extension, mate. It's all about creating stimulus, so just take your time, mate. Let's go. Oh, there we go. Good. Ah, two. Oh, three. Fuck, man. Three. Oh. This. Good. Yeah, yeah. One time for your mindset. Yeah, yeah. When I'm ready. 